Hello all. Welcome to the website creation for education from Team 70 IIT Bombay FDP Design. Now, in first place, why we need to create the website and what is the use of it in the education sector? Let us see that. Now, a lot many number of times we search for the information on the website and then collect that information during our regular teaching. Now, what can be done is we can collect that information and keep it together for the uh, understanding of particular topic for the student. So, for that purpose, the website creation is a very important tool in creating a very good technical education. So, let's see what I will be uh, talking about is uh, related to the uh, what are different websites, uh, how the blog works, and then what are the forums, uh, what is free and paid in that and then you know, what is simple and multifunctional website and the WordPress particularly that because we are designing the FDP in particular WordPress topic so we'll be covering that in detail. So what is website? Like websites are like government websites or any other educational websites having a lot of different contents on that and then you can work it out for your um, purpose uh, blog what is blog blog is like uh, collecting the information and putting it up together or writing a particular log and keep it on the web so you can take out your notes or handouts or quizzes likewise you can keep it on adding at a single place where you can access them again what is forum? Forum is in place uh, where you can actually post your queries, questions. If you are in, if you are uh, like uh, expert in particular field and there is a question, then you can answer that back too. So there are a lot of different forums for particular technologies that are available in the world. So these are the websites, blog, and forum. Well, what is free and paid? As you must be aware, nothing comes free. So, in case of free, uh, there, is, there is a advertisement from the websites that play a vital role. So, if you are agree to play the advertisements, they will provide the facilities for the free. Even some data sharing agreement, if you complete it, they allow you to use the services free of cost otherwise else if you are having a sufficient money then you can take out the paid and paid facility it is on monthly basis on or even yearly basis so it's up to you to create it surely we will be looking forward only for the free with advertisement sort of stuff using wordpress in coming slide now, what is simple and multifunctional websites? At very beginning, I told you the multifunctional websites are something which are having multiple pages, having like uh, multiple options, like um, government websites where different pages have different options to select particular service or even the information that you want. Uh, in case of uh, examples like banking websites or institute websites that mostly designed by the professionals and it's paid versions. So if you are interested you can design it using a Drupal, uh, a particularly open source software that can be used to design the multifunctional website. Now there are simple websites are mostly free that you can design it on your own having nothing to lose and easily created it. So you can use it or create it using Blogspot or like simple pages using WordPress. So we can use the WordPress tool to create the scene. Let's see how we can use the WordPress tool. Thank you. Thank you very much.